Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alina. I am a senior at the University of Rochester and I am currently applying to gap year jobs and reapplying to med school for the 2021-2022 cycle. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of my favorite tools of all time, um, and that's Notion. And specifically, I'm gonna be showing you how I use Notion to apply to jobs. Um, and just keep that really organized. I am a huge spreadsheet person. I use them for everything. And when I finally found Notion and how many different ways you can use it, it totally changed the game. So hopefully this will become a series and I can share with you guys all the different ways that I use Notion. In addition to that, I'll be creating custom templates for you guys to use that will be linked in the description below. So for all of that, just keep watching. We're gonna have a guest today, as always. This is Spice, my kitten. Mwah. All right, so today I'm gonna be taking you through one of the templates that I have made and used for applying to jobs. Um, if you guys are interested in having just a general Notion video, let me know, um, but I do have some ideas for other videos to make for you guys. I have mine pulled up over here, and I will also be taking a screen recording and showing it somewhere on the screen so you guys can see what I'm doing as well. So I know for me that I've never applied to a big girl job before. Um, I've applied to internships and summer jobs and things like that, but I really wanted to make sure that I was keeping all the different jobs straight, especially because patient tech jobs typically have very similar titles. So in the first column, you'll see company name. For me, that's where I'm gonna put the names of the different hospitals that I'm applying. The next section is department. So. Again, this is gonna be pretty centered toward medical jobs, but you could really use this template for anything. Um, but for me, under the department section, I would put like emergency room, uh, women's clinic, uh, ambulatory care, things like that. Uh, so it's a really great way to separate out not only what hospital you're applying to, but also what exact department you're applying to. Uh, next is the interest level, which I found really helpful since some jobs I'm just not as interested in as the others, so it helps me prioritize what ones I need to finish first, or if I get a bunch of interviews, you know, which ones I need to prioritize. And it's okay to have some ranked low. You're not gonna love every job that you find. Um, and there's some that I didn't even add on to this that were lower than low. So it's really important, I think, to have your interest level. Uh, the next bar is status, and that's where I put what step of the process I'm on. So I like to use a prospect, applied, interview, and got it. For most of mine right now, the status is prospect because I have three midterms tomorrow, so I am not applying to any jobs until I finish up that set of midterms. Uh, but it's, again, a nice way to keep track of where you're at in the process. Uh, the next is the role slash position. So when I was looking for jobs on LinkedIn, most of them had very similar names and were from similar hospital names. So I wanted to make sure I could keep it clear. And even though you can save the jobs on LinkedIn or different types of job application sites, I just found it very helpful to have all the information written out in this. Now, the next few columns you're not gonna be able to use until you actually start applying to the jobs. So that's the main contact, the contact email and the contact phone. Um, for some jobs, you might have this available right off the bat, but for the jobs I'm applying to, they are not available for me until I get to the next step in the process. So for me, those are blank. Now the next column is the date applied. This is really helpful because it can kind of keep you on track for, you know, how you think the rest of this application is going to go. You know, if you've applied three days ago and you still haven't heard anything, that's totally fine, obviously. But if you know weeks are going by and you still haven't heard anything, you can see exactly when you applied. Um, and also it gives you a nice timeline of events. Um, and going along with that in the next column is last contact. So that again is a, the last date that you would contact um, either the date, it can either be the same as the day you applied, the last time you emailed someone or the, when your interview was, you know, things like that. Um, again, it's nice to keep up a timeline of how the process is going. The last column is for tags. So for me, I'm really looking for a full-time job. So I have mine separated out by full-time and part-time. Um, I'm not currently looking for a certain salary level or 
benefits or insurance or things like that um, just because I am still on my parents insurance plan I'm only working for a year um, so those things just aren't as important to me but you know days slash nights are very important to me some jobs that I'm applying to require you to travel between different hospitals so that isn't a deciding factor for me right now but it's something to keep in mind you might have different tags that you want to add so that is very personal to you and this entire page is customizable if there's a column you don't like delete it if there's one you want to add in go ahead um but i think this is a really good base for any job especially for medical positions um that can help you stay organized and since it's on notion and not just a random spreadsheet you can add it in with all of your other stuff which Again, I will probably do a Notion walkthrough to show you guys how I set up mine um, and the other pages that I have, including my med school application tracker um, that will probably be coming up in a few weeks. So that is my job hunt tracker page for Notion. Um, again, the template will be linked down in the description below. I hope you guys find it really helpful. I know it's already keeping me very organized and on top of things. So. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, I'm sorry I have not been posting every week. Um, I just haven't really known what I want to share with you guys. And I'm not sure <laughs> if Notion is something you guys are interested in, but I think it's a really helpful tool and I hope you find it to be helpful too. So if you want to keep seeing more videos like this, definitely hit the thumbs up button. Um, leave me a comment on what other types of videos you guys would like to see. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye guys.